5G, the fifth generation network. There is clear evidence that radio frequency radiation, also known as electromagnetic fields, EMFs, are harmful to all life on this planet. But we have been met with widespread denial. 5G damages your DNA, all of the cells in your body, your organs, in both plants and animals. This has been demonstrated in thousands and thousands of studies. But why is 5G so bad, yet 3 and 4G are okay? Because 3G and 4G operate at 1 to 5 gigahertz. 5G operates at 24 to 90 gigahertz. Dozens of times higher in most cases than any sort of technology we've had before. And that's not to say that 3G and 4G radiation isn't harmless. 5G is a massive step up in the amount of information being sent. This requires much more antennas and satellites, essentially turning the planet into one big electrical grid. Every living being in the environment will be susceptible to this, from the ants to the birds, even trees. Symptoms seen in humans include alteration of heart rhythm, improper cell development, cancer, learning and memory issues, reproductive problems ranging from sperm function to miscarriages. They wish to put 20,000 satellites in orbit for 5G, altering the electromagnetic fields with which all life on Earth has evolved. In our current 3G and 4G world, there is a fairly small percentage with EMF sensitivity. These people are also known as EMF hyper-responders, estimated to be between 5 and 15% of the population. They suffer drastically from a high EMF environment, whereas other people might do okay. And a lot of the time, these people don't correlate their health problems to the high EMF environment as it is not well known. Have you ever looked at pictures of people in New York City? I went to a vegan festival about a month and a half ago and every single person there, including meat eaters, had bags under their eyes. This is because of the high EMF environment in New York City. Think about the thousands and thousands and thousands of cell phones, routers, electronic devices that are just concentrated. I am fortunate that I am able to shield myself from EMF when I am at home, but when I go to Manhattan and I used to work these bartending jobs in these hotels, I could feel the EMF in the environment. I used to get stomach aches and headaches every time I went down to the city. I started wearing EMF protective clothing, silver lion shirt and, and underwear, and my stomach aches stopped, but I still got a headache. I can literally feel the negative effects of the EMFs within 10, 15, 20 minutes of being in the environment. And this is difficult for a lot of people because they are in the environment so long and they don't even realize it. There is so much blatant evidence that this radiation is harmful to our health. Insect population has declined by 80% since the 1990s, and biodiversity in wildlife has also decreased. It's really sad how no one cares enough to do anything about what our planet is turning into. Anyone telling you that 5G is okay is lying to you or simply uninformed and brainwashed. Sleep next to your cell phone for a few days. If you can, that is. I would literally get a headache after talking on my cell phone for 20 minutes. There are immediate noticeable changes in brain function as well as heartbeat. I'm telling you guys, if you don't believe in EMF in this radiation, get a router, get a cell phone, stay next to it 24-7 for a couple days. I'm not encouraging this. I don't think you should. I think it's harmful to your health. But you need to remove yourself from a high EMF environment then experience a high EMF environment. And this was the only way I found out about this myself. I was sleeping next to a router and I had insomnia. I couldn't figure out what it was. But I stopped sleeping when I reoriented my computer system. So I started Googling router insomnia and I found out about EMF and this type of radiation. 
And the fact that people deny that it causes issues and that it's harmful is completely crazy. 5G is so dangerous to human life that there are really only three possibilities. One, they cancel 5G, and we know that's not going to happen. Two, 5G is rolled out secretly, they test it, and they figure out what's the amount that most people can tolerate. Or three, 5G is rolled out, people suffer drastic health issues, they cover it up and pretend it never happened. People don't have the knowledge and understanding to correlate these symptoms directly to EMF. Nobody is walking around with a tinfoil hat and a $500 radio frequency meter like I am. Here is an excerpt from 5gspaceappeal.org on the legality of 5G. In their haste to implement 5G and to encourage the unconstrained use of outer space, the European Union, the United States, and national governments worldwide are taking steps to ensure a barrier-free regulatory environment. They are prohibiting local authorities from enforcing environmental laws and, in the interest of speedy and cost-effective deployment, removing unnecessary burdens, such as local planning procedures and the variety of specific limits on electromagnetic field emissions and of the methods required to aggregate them. Governments are also enacting laws to make wireless facilities a permitted use in all public rights of way. To date, most wireless facilities have been located on private property at some distance from homes and businesses. In order for them to be spaced less than 100 meters apart as required by 5G, however, they will now be located on the sidewalk, directly in front of homes and businesses, and close above the heads of pedestrians, including mothers with babies. Public notice requirements and public hearings are being eliminated. Even if there were a hearing and a hundred scientific experts were to testify against 5G, laws have been passed making it illegal for local authorities to take their testimony into consideration. U.S. law, for example, prohibits local governments from regulating wireless technology on the basis of the environmental effects of radio frequency radiation, and courts have reversed regulatory decisions about cell tower placement simply because most of the public testimony was about health. Insurers will not provide coverage against EMF risks, and there is zero clarity as to what entity will bear legal responsibility for damage to life, limb, and property arising from exposure to 5G, whether ground or space-based. In the absence of an agreed comprehensive legal regime governing activities in outer space, legal liability for those activities is non-existent, despite the prospect of whole continents the atmosphere, and the oceans being put at risk by them. The Nuremberg Code applies to all experiments on humans, thus including the deployment of 5G with a new, higher RF radiation exposure that has not been pre-market tested for safety. The voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential. Exposure to 5G will be involuntary. No experiment should be conducted where there is a priori reason to believe that death or disabling injury will occur. The findings of over 10,000 scientific studies and the voices of hundreds of international organizations representing hundreds of thousands of members who have suffered disabling injury and been displaced from their homes by already existing wireless telecommunications facilities are a priori reasons to believe that death or disabling injury will occur. Every single person on this planet is being taken advantage of already. This is just another example of the government abusing their authority and the sheepishness of the general population. 5G is the next step towards limiting our lives even further. And as I've said in the past, this new society that the world leaders are looking to create is inevitable. Thank you guys for joining me today. Please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. I did do a video in the past on EMF and how to block certain devices in your home. Recently, I have launched Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal being to provide you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. So if you want to become the healthiest version of yourself, through high quality animal based nutrition, go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Guys, this is the last day to order to 
get your delivery this month. So please keep that in mind. Again, thank you guys for joining me today and enjoy the rest of your week.